Hi everyone! So today I am back with another first impression review and this will be for the... I actually don't know how to read this. It says Z-A... <laughs> Z-A... I don't know. Well, it does say here, if you can see, it says Z-A. So I'm gonna call it Z-A. So this is the Z-A Whitening 12-in-1 BB Cream. And it says here that it has SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. So that's very good for us Filipinas since we are always under the scorching heat of the sun. And it does say here vitamin C. I don't know what's up with that. So um, for the price, I bought this for only 199 pesos from Watson's. And actually, um, the sales lady told me that this was on sale from the price of 400 I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and this one contains 20 grams of the product or 0.7 ounces. It says here it was made in Taiwan. Let me read to you what it says on the back. <coughs> Excuse me. It says here ZA, Total Hydration BB Cream UV White. Formulated with double whitening complex, oil control powder, and color control powder. Brightens your skin tone in 10 days and non-sticky finish to make makeup last for long hours. Corrects skin color and gives an even looking finish without patchiness. It has SPF 50 plus, pay plus plus plus, firmly protects skin against UVA and UVB rays damages. Now it says here double whitening complex is composed of tranexanic acid and vitamin C to help block melanin formation. Formulation, sorry. Dermatologist tested, non-clogging to pores. For the directions, it does say here to smooth over an appropriate amount over your face with your fingertips. So I will be using my fingertips for this one. And yeah, it just comes in this um, clear plastic box. And I got the shade in bright. See? That was the only shade available, actually. Now, for the tube itself, it comes in this um, kind of silky looking tube. It's um, a smaller bottle than your typical BB cream, right? Or your typical foundation. As you can see, it just comes in a squeeze out tube. And I really like the packaging. I think it is really cute pink and white and it is I think this is very travel friendly so you can easily fit this in your makeup bag or just in your purse since it's a smaller size packaging and yeah so let's test out the uh, longevity of this BB cream and let's test it out on my face just a short PS I had to reshoot this part where I'm applying the BB cream on my face for the first time because the lighting was just very bad and the quality of the video was very bad as well. If you want to see snippets of that, I will insert that right now. I don't think anyone would want to see a first impression review where the uh, video quality is very bad that you can barely see um, the coverage of the BB cream or even the color of the BB cream. So yeah, I hope that's okay with you. This is the only way that I thought I could correct that. But the clips where I am wearing the BB cream on my face for the entire day are the same first impression clips. So technically, I could still call this a first impression review somewhat. Um, I hope you enjoy watching and let's get on with the review. Alright, so let's go ahead and apply this bad boy on my face. Um, as you can see, it does have a sticker here, so let's remove that. It's not sealed on the tube itself. Now I'm just going to put a tiny amount on the back of my hand first. And I'm going to start on this side of my face first. I thought it was going to be thick, but it feels very thin, if that's even a term. I can actually already tell that it's going to be very lightweight on my skin. All 
Alright, so I already finished applying the BB cream on this side of my face. Now as you can see, I do have some imperfections. Um, I do have some blemishes and pimple scars on my cheeks and uh, I have dark circles. And uh, if you're able to see, the BB cream actually helped um, conceal my dark circles and my pimple scars as well. It did not fully conceal them though, but it did help conceal them. And it f still feels kind of sticky, but let's um, let it set for a few minutes. I'm going to try to add a second layer on my blemishes, and let's see if it will conceal them. Alright, so I applied a second layer on my pimple marks only. And as you can see, um, it did conceal them, but... Uh, some are still peeking through, but I'm actually okay with this kind of coverage, even uh, just thinking that it's just a BB cream. I'm really impressed with the coverage of this one. I can't quite explain the scent of this one. It does smell a bit perfumey, but as I said, I cannot explain the scent. It's not a very strong scent. Um, it doesn't bother me for my own taste. I'm gonna finish up my entire face and I will be right back. So I finished applying the BB cream on my entire face and the only thing that it was not able to conceal was this pimple right here. Now what I can say about this BB cream is that for now it is a thumbs up for me. Um, I do see that it instantly brightened up my skin. I look less dull than when I started this video. And yeah, I'm so impressed for now, but let's see the longevity of this BB cream. Um, I did not put any primer on my face and I will not put any setting spray as well, but I will have to um, powder my face since I am going out and I don't want to look like a grease ball. I will just use my Maybelline New York Clear Smooth Shine Free Face Powder in Natural. It is now... 6.02 in the morning and I will check back later with my whole face makeup on. Hi guys! It is now 8.17 and sorry about the background noise but not in my house right now. Just a short update. My nose is already shiny but not too much. Only here on my nose bridge and everything else is okay. Nothing is caking up or anything. Um, yeah, everything is okay. Still smooth, not flawless though, but still acceptable. So I will check back later. I am back with another update. Um, please bear with the background noise. I am in a public place right now. So it is 11.26 and 5 hours have passed since I last applied the BB cream. This is the state of oiliness that I am in. As you can see, my nose is very shiny, my forehead and my cheeks. Basically, my whole face. And um, the BB cream settled on the sides of my nose and they took a flash photo to be inserted right now so i will check back later in the day guys i'm back for another update um it is now 3 23 pm so um just about nine and a half hours have passed since i last applied the bb cream on my face and actually i just got up from my nap so this is how I look like right now. I am really oily on my nose and on my cheeks. But, well, kahit no 6 hours pa lang, I was already super oily. But, um, not really that greasy like 
how other BB creams would um, make me oil up. And right now, like after 9 hours, it's still not super greasy. Again, not the same as how other BB creams would make me oil up. So let me just try to block my face so that we can see how it would look like. Or to see if any BB cream would be wiped off. So I already blotted my face and this is the amount of oil that I got. So um, actually, I see that the BB cream has faded away. I think the BB cream is good for about 4 hours without blotting your face. It does say here that it's an oil control powder and the performance of the oil control is better than most BB creams that I have tried. So, my verdict for this one, it's a good BB cream for the price for only 199 pesos. It would be able to hold the oils from your face for about 4 hours and you really need to blot after that 4 hours. Now, if you want to wear it the entire day, I guess you should have your powder ready for more oil control and it would help if you wore a mattifying primer beforehand or a mattifying powder just to keep your oiliness at bay. I think that this is a good product for the price for 199 pesos. It did a good job at keeping me um, not oil free but keeping me from becoming a grease ball. If the price is 199 pesos, I would repurchase it. And I think that you guys should give this a go as well. Um, try it out for yourself. This concludes my first impression review and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If you did uh, find this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And comment down below on any video requests that you have. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! since you can easily <laughs> oh my gosh did you see that I was scratching my pits there's an airplane passing by perfect timing and by the building pa ano ba yan and less less